So spring break is on everyone's mind. So let's begin there. First, we really should stop calling it spring break as this is not about college kids on their vacation. Over the last weeks and longer, our city has been one of the only true destination cities open for business anywhere. So via car, discount plane fares, and other means, we have been receiving an enormous number of visitors flocking to our city. And while most of our guests come here for all the reasons we hope they do and follow rules, there are clearly too many coming here with other ideas. And some are bringing guns. This mix has created perils, mostly in the evening and almost entirely in a small area. But these are things the city cannot accept. There has been gunplay, open brawling, and other hazards. And all that in the midst of a pandemic where mask usage and physical distancing seems like an afterthought, if that. So we have had to implement measures we would prefer not to deploy, but must. Over the last six weeks, we have made over 1,000 arrests, of which 398 were for felonies. We have seized over 100 guns, many from people whose cars were stopped due to outstanding warrants. So here's what we are doing about this, and here's what you should expect. So yesterday, the commission approved an 8 p.m. curfew in the entertainment area known as the Art Deco Cultural District. The curfew will be in effect from 8 p.m. through the early morning hours, Thursday night through Monday morning, for the next few weeks and perhaps longer. Also, we are closing down eastbound traffic on our three causeways starting at 10 p.m. for those same evenings to only local traffic and hotel traffic. Now, I apologize for the disruption and inconvenience this causes for many, but until we can slow the volume of people coming here, it is a necessary measure. Restaurants in this area can continue to deliver food, but we are clearing streets at 8 p.m. Now, we have an enormous contingent of police here from the region as well as from the state. We are doing our best to protect the residential neighborhoods adjacent to this entertainment area. I want to thank our police, as this is very difficult work, and thanks to our residents and businesses for your patience, especially those who have had to endure causeway delays. I know it can be frustrating. Hopefully, as other places open up and the pandemic truly gets to our rearview mirror, this disruption will subside. That said, and I'm sorry if I repeat myself, we need long-term solutions as we cannot rely on these reactive short-term responses. And of course, there is still the pandemic. All of this activity is done with nearly no mask usage or physical distancing. It is irresponsible and it does create additional jeopardy. In our county, we are still seeing about a thousand new infections a day and our positivity ranges between five and 10%. As you can see in our hospital chart, we are not in a good position there either. Now, I am certain that the activity you are watching this last month in South Beach will only make things worse. I recognize that most of the behavior is not by our residents, but when there is more virus in the community, it spreads to more places. I would urge you to get vaccinated when you are eligible. Please take care of this. There are plenty of places to get vaccinated and our city is still providing shots as well. We have completed our private and public school staff vaccinations, and the great majority of our seniors have been fully vaccinated. I got my first shot last week. It didn't hurt at all, and it made me feel much, much more at ease. So please take care of this for your safety and your peace of mind. Okay, so yes, lots is going on. Frankly, too much. I always end this message thanking you for your patience, calm, and sacrifice. And though I always mean it, at this moment, the patience part seems especially applicable. So thanks for your patience, common sacrifice. Stay healthy, mostly at home, and please, please get your shot.